guys welcome back to the vlog i feel like it has literally been forever since i vlogged um so i'm super excited for this vlog it is tuesday night i had a very rough day at work today if i'm being completely honest i saw 15 patients this morning and i think around 8 to 10 this afternoon so it was a lot this morning i was super frustrated i didn't finish um seeing patients until like 12 45 and then i had to do like run quickly and do a 30 minute workout i did finish all of my training before um i came home though so that's nice and then i decided because i had such a bad day that i needed some retail therapy so i did some shopping at home goods because i want to decorate for fall um i have a few fall pieces that i have accumulated over the years but i don't have a lot of outside decor um, so that's kind of what I was looking for. I found a few pieces I'll show you guys, but right now I am eating some leftover chili for dinner. This is a really good recipe that I can actually link below for you guys. I found it on Pinterest. It actually has coffee in it. Um, I use decaf coffee because I don't want it to wake me up. So I'm just heating some of that up in the microwave. I'm going to have it with some Fritos and then we will get to decorating. This literally looks so good. I'm so excited. Um, I just put a little bit of this nacho cheese in it, a little bit of Kite Hill sour cream. Um, you guys saw the chips and then I put just some vegan cheddar cheese in it and yeah, it's so good. It's like really overcast outside. So it feels like fall. It feels like the perfect weather for eating a chili and decorating. Okay. And these are the things that I got recently from home goods. And then I actually just picked these up from target over the weekend. I got these from the dollar section at target. I think that they were literally like $3, $3. And they have like little fairy lights inside, which is really cute. I think they were all three dollars yeah they were all three dollars so i have a bunch of pumpkins but i'm gonna add to that and then i got this little um i don't know garland i think it's called six foot garland that i'm gonna hang up these are for the talks but i wanted to wait and give them give it to them until after i started the camera because they are squeaky and then outside i actually put i got like a little stand outside that says like some cute fall stuff because i already have some pumpkins that i got from trader joe's out there but i've always wanted to get a few lanterns to put but i didn't want to get two of the same ones i wanted it to be a little bit different so i picked these up from home goods i don't know i'm gonna see how i feel about them out there um because i feel like especially this one like this was 25 dollars and I don't know i just feel like it's poorly made like it's it's not i'm not impressed with the quality of it this one is nicer but they didn't have any bigger ones of this one i would have liked to have like this one and a bigger one so i don't know we'll see decorated it literally took me like 10 minutes so i don't know why i've been procrastinating for so long you guys have not seen any of the vlogs since we got this new chair um you guys saw the new couch which is covered um <laughs> sorry you can hear the squeaking um we do cover with blankets during the day because we don't allow the dogs to be on it at night but they are like here during the day so and they shed a ton so we like covered up with blankets but we got these two new chairs these i don't know how to describe them like teddy bear type chairs and um i really like them we also got them from the same company that we got that we got the couch from and i've been really impressed with the company just in general um like they everything was just so effortless like we weren't here when the um, chairs got delivered and the guy called me and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I forgot to reschedule the day. Can you just leave them there? He was like, yeah, I'll sign for you. Like, no problem, I'll send you pictures. Um, I will say that 
I think the quality of the chairs is so good, but I think when you look at the chairs, you expect them to be, and it's the same with the couch, you expect them to be so like ultra comfy to like just kind of melt into them and they are firmer, which is not a bad thing. Like I don't mind it. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't mind it at all, but they're not like, it's not like sitting on a cloud essentially. And our couch isn't like sitting on a cloud either, which I like because I don't like when couches like the cloud couch i don't like how they look like after people have sat on them like how they look like with no structure whatsoever so i the couch and the chairs are from the same company called castlery um and i really like them if you're like in the market for that so yeah um it is 7 30 now i am working on a campaign that is due um with dub that i'm super excited about i'm working with them on tiktok so they just sent over a few edits that I have to do and I need to send it back to them tomorrow. So I'm just gonna finish that up watching some TV. I'm so tired today. Like <laughs> literally, I'm so tired tonight and it's been so hard for me to get up in the mornings, you guys. Like I have been snoozing my alarm the last two days and I never snooze my alarm. Like today I didn't get out of bed till 7.30. My alarm went off at 7.10. I'm like embarrassed <laughs> and I'm getting plenty of sleep like I get like 10 hours of sleep I mean not 10 I get nine hours of sleep every night so I don't know what it is I'm just I'm just feeling kind of tired I think it's just hard like getting back into the swing of things this is my first full week back in the clinic since my vacation when I went to my friend's wedding in California so the time change hit me really hard last week and then like this weekend we had quite a busy weekend um so yeah, I don't know. I'm like chalking it up to that. So we'll see, but I'm just gonna work on this and then probably shower and yeah. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Last night I went to bed at like 10.30, um, which is the typical time that I usually go to bed, but I didn't like have a proper like wind down because Dancing with the Stars went till 10.30. So I don't know, I'm feeling quite sleepy this morning and I'm just attributing it to that. It's also raining outside, so it's literally the perfect weather for staying in bed all day. Um, but I can't. <laughs> so I'm ready for work and then we're gonna head there. I have a morning meeting today and then I'm heading over to our other location to see patients there for the day. So hoping for a good day because yesterday really took it out of me. This is so cozy, you guys. I belong in my bed this morning, um, sipping a cup of coffee and watching some type of fall show. This is absolutely amazing. Yet I'm going to work, so. You guys, I got fully for dinner. We need to debrief about the day because it was awful. It was literally, what is my hair? I don't know. It was terrible. It was so awful, I, like, I can't. Um, I have to like tell you about it. I can't anyway. Okay, but I am have been desperately looking for things to keep my dogs occupied throughout the day and I found this activity mat <laughs> um, On Amazon and then I have one other like really hard puzzle coming in the mail because they have food puzzles, but they need harder ones um, so anyway Today I had no MA um, My MA was gone today and I, so I had three NP students who thankfully they were really good. They helped me with flu, with vaccines. They helped me with blood draws. They helped me with um, ear irrigations. They helped me with like uh, flu swabs, COVID swabs, etc. I literally don't know what I would have done without them. I would have died. I would have gone home. I would have walked out today. Um, because I'm, to be honest, I don't know like what labs certain ones are like. I. When I worked in the hospital, like we never drew our own labs. We did like in 2017 and my first job as a nurse. And if we ever had a question about like what lab went in what, I would just call the lab and be like, hey, what color tube does a CBC go in? You know, like it was easy stuff. And now like I don't have that information. Like I can't just call the lab. So that's stressful. Um, but anyway. It was that and then so I didn't get to go to the gym today during lunch which sucks because yesterday I got in like a 30 minute workout it was really quick and then the day before that I also didn't go to the get to go to the gym because it was literal hell oh, so anyway um, I saw three new patients in a row this afternoon I had to send a message to my coworkers being like please be mindful of scheduling patients 
in a row. Like new, three new patients in a row should never happen. Um, anyway, you guys, it was just so tragic. I didn't finish like finish charting and leave until six o'clock. So I decided I had to get to like, dinner. I saw a snake today. Um, I had like 20 minutes of like time to like that I finished charting before my two o'clock patient showed up. So I was like, you know what? Let me get outside. Let me take like a little bit of a walk. There's a, a neighborhood behind my office. And uh, um, I took a walk behind there and I saw a snake on the sidewalk. Um, I am terrified of snakes. You guys, I hate snakes so much. So just not a good day for me. Not a good day for me. But on a side note, if you guys ever wonder what my Chipotle order is, I get brown rice, black beans, sofritas, veggies if they have green peppers because I don't like I don't like any other colored peppers except for green, which it's a mental thing. Um, corn, lettuce, and then I put the smoky chipotle hot sauce on it, vinaigrette, and guac on the side with chips. You always have to get chips. It's so good. It's like it's gonna make my day better today. It is shower time. I'm so ready to like shower and wipe the day away it was just yeah i need i need the day to be physically wiped away from me a little off I'm just pulling out of my garage um it is Thursday is it, it's Thursday morning I feel like I've had a really hard time keeping the days of the week together this week um this is the first full week I think I already mentioned this that I have worked in the month of September which has been amazing honestly but like the first time the first week of September it was Labor Day or maybe it wasn't maybe it was the hurricane I don't know there was Labor Day, then there was the hurricane, and then I was out of town for a wedding, which kind of fell into two weeks, and so yeah, this is my first full week back. Um, I think I vented to you guys yesterday about how crazy my day was, and this week has just been crazy in general. Monday was really great. I saw maybe like 15 patients on Monday, maybe 17, somewhere. It was below 20, which I really love seeing that number. I feel like it's very reasonable and I just have time to finish all of my charting. I have time to look over everything pretty extensively, time to sit and like talk with my patients um, and I don't feel rushed. And then Tuesday morning, I'm pretty sure I saw the equivalent on Tuesday morning of all of the patients that I saw on Monday. It was hell, like I was really frustrated um, and it was, it felt like a walk-in clinic essentially. It's so, like somebody would walk in and they'd get added to the schedule and I'm like, how? I have no openings. Um, this is not a walk-in clinic. Obviously, if something is important, please tell me, please ask me, but don't just add it. So I was really, felt really disrespected, honestly, on Tuesday. And then yesterday I didn't have an MA, so that added to it. Um, but yeah, I told you guys all about that. So I need to stop complaining because it's making me feel quite negative. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to a better day today. It has been like super rainy and super gloomy in Florida in the mornings and in the evenings, which is kind of nice to a certain degree because it feels like fall. Whereas if it wasn't like that, it wouldn't feel like fall here because it's too hot. Um, but it's also making it really difficult to wake up in the morning and I'm struggling. Also, something is going on with my summer um, Friday's lip balm and like I can't get it out. strange. I don't think I've ever made it this far in a lip balm before, so like I know it's not out. <laughs> There's still stuff in here. Maybe I got like a faulty one. I don't know. 
Um, I'm also really hoping I can make it to the gym today because on Tuesday I got like a 30 minute workout in because I finished seeing patients at 12.45 and I was like, I'm leaving. Nobody asked me where I'm going. Like nobody talked to me. And so by the time I like got to the gym, got changed and everything, I only had like 30 minutes. Um, and then I didn't make it to the gym on Monday. Why did I make it to the gym on Monday? Huh? Oh, I did Botox on Monday, like during my lunch break not my lunch break but my admin time and so then I, I didn't have much time to get to the gym and then yesterday I just couldn't get there I did like a 30 minute walk around one of the neighborhoods that's like behind my office so that was nice but then oh my god I saw a snake and that terrified me I hate snakes so much I about had a panic attack but it's okay we obviously survived the snake um it did not want anything to do with me it just slithered off like ugh. Ugh. Anyway, I can't talk about it. Several hours later, you guys, I had an MA for the beginning of the day, and then I had no MA for the afternoon. Um, to say that I'm frustrated would be a understatement. Um, I had one NP student today who was so sweet and so nice, and she helped me a ton. Um, I had to do allergy, like desensitization therapy. I order that a lot for my patients when their allergy tests come back, like um, with a lot of things essentially. Um, I had never done that before. I had to look up how to do all of it, figure all of that stuff out. Um, I had a specific lab order for a patient that needs to be dropped off at UPS. Um, you know, it's, it's 5.30 and now I'm going to the UPS store to drop off some labs it's like I'm really frustrated and I don't know what else to say and I probably shouldn't be like talking about it on the internet um, but I'm really frustrated I looked uh, I had another MA like message me today and was like girl did you look at your schedule for tomorrow um, she was like it's crazy and I took a look I had six new patients our office policy is no more than four and two of them were scheduled at the same time. I don't know how that happens. Like, how do you not look at that when you schedule? You know, everybody makes mistakes. It could be people schedule online and somehow that didn't get blocked off, so whatever. I'm just really frustrated, you guys. It's been a really hard week. Um, it's just been like, bro, oh, rough, rough, rough. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I got Hoosier, this puzzle on Amazon that I was telling you guys about. Um, it looks really hard and he is quite intelligent. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be so good for you, Hoos. Oh my goodness. You're gonna be so good at it. It looks hard. Wow, Hoosier, this is gonna be really hard. Look at that. I know, are you excited? Like move it all around like this, it's so big. And then you can put little um, treats under here and then he has to move them here. Woo, Hoosier, this is gonna be a test for you. This is gonna be really hard. This is gonna test how smart you are. Dinner is breakfast tacos. Um, I just got off the phone with a GYN who I did my rotation with and she's helping me out with a patient. I love her, she's so helpful. She just knows she is literally a wealth of knowledge. So, yeah. Did you smell boy? You smart too, Cam. Good job. Okay, it is Friday evening. I'm sorry if you can hear the little random things in the back, but the boys are playing with their little mind toy, and I had a rough day, but we made it through. It's the weekend. Today is my last day of being 26 years old. I turn 27 tomorrow. Um, I'm terrified. I hate getting older. Um, I hate my birthday. <laughs> I just am like that type of person. I just want to be like in my twenties forever. And as I get to my late twenties, I get sad. And anyway, so I thought to commemorate my last day being 26, 
I have really gotten into the fall vibe and I'm gonna make some pumpkin bread from Trader Joe's. Um, I just make this vegan by adding in like a vegan substitute for um, the eggs. And then instead of vegetable oil, I am gonna use coconut oil because I don't have vegetable oil. So we'll see how it turns out. But happy weekend, happy Friday, and happy birthday to me. <laughs> Turned out so good. <laughs> 